our breakfast for the last time at a menace in our little hotel that we stayed at um we just checked out as well and then they're keeping our bags for a little bit while Imagine. we finish up our breakfast and then go do a gondola ride literally i'm so excited actually maybe actually should we not do that um, maybe yeah, actually it sounds really lame <laughs> yeah so we checked out and we're gonna do a gondola ride and then we get the train to we get the train from venice to florence and apparently when we booked our like rail card thing for italy we are in first class, which, I mean, train first class isn't the same as flying first class, but Will and I are like, wait, what does that even mean? So it'll be fun um, to be in first class, so we shall see what that's like. Um, but today's going to be a great day. We're going to a museum in Florence. Florence is like one of the other cities of love, I've been told, and everyone keeps saying I'm going to absolutely love it, so I'm really excited. I'll give you an OOTD in a little bit, but the hair is today because in Florence it's going to be 91 degrees Fahrenheit which is quite warm so I just yesterday was so hot and it wasn't even that hot and I was always like sweating my hair was sticking to me and I was like okay the hair is up I did a really cute like brain in ribbon situation so I'll show you that in a little bit but we're gonna enjoy some breakfast a cappuccino is being made for me at the moment, which the cappuccino is here. I mean, maybe the cappuccinos everywhere are good, but I don't know. I never really order a cappuccino, here. but the cappuccino is here been slapping. So, yeah. So we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So we just finished the gondola ride. Woo! Our legends are, I can't really see. Back over there. Yeah, there's a million shipments coming, which actually is so interesting. Like, like the you know, traffic was interesting. Yeah, it was so, I mean, obviously it was amazing. The gond whole gondola experience was amazing. Our rower, I don't know what their technical name is. What's Maybe a name? gondolier? Yes, he was really nice and stuff, of course. Um, but it was cool just, obviously, to like see all the canals and see yeah, like awesome. people's lives. But yeah, even just seeing like all the shipments and like the chaos. Of like the traffic jam and like these tiny canals and him just weaving in and out. Yeah, it was um, so cool. I'm gonna show you how cute it looks though. Cause I haven't shown you yet. Shirt, little shorts, <laughs> spicy little shoes. My dunks. Oh, to me, and the lady me. So I showed you a little bit about my hair. Look at this cute dress. Driven, so dress that I thrifted. Very nice, and thrifted. Little, and then my little bag. Um, I think I want to get this dress like taken in because it's second hand to be a bit. Fit me a bit better, but you know, pretty cute. So I think we're gonna take a tripod pick and then then we need to get a train. Head back. Our gondola experience, in case you're interested in knowing how much it was. So for 30 minutes, it was 80 euros. I think for an hour it was like 120 euros. So it's better than some money to do an hour, isn't it? Yeah, if you're like willing to spend 120, we had like 80 euros in cash that we'd pulled out, so we're like, that's just like what we're gonna do. And I think 30 minutes for us was like playing long enough. I think I think we would have like enjoyed an hour, but I think we still felt like we got an experience for yeah, 30 yeah. and we're like, oh my gosh, we didn't see anything. So I think it like worked for us with the money we wanted to spend. And um, stuff, but, it so. is ex but it is more expensive at night. Yes. Yeah, so at night, at, after 7 p.m., it's a lot more expensive. So that's why last night too, we were like, we were in such a rush getting back from our day. We were like, let's just go in the morning. We'll be clean. We'll be so sweaty. Um, I would definitely say like morning or like sunset is definitely the best time. Morning was nice, wasn't it? Only because of midday, it might be really, really, really bright and hot. You just have to think about that. But I think morning's great. So we had a great time. So highly recommend if you feel like splashing a little cash. Yeah, I feel like splashing some A lot cash. of cash, um, but yeah. it was worth it. I don't know what will be in Venice again. So I'm happy we did it, so. Boom. Yeah. Okay, you guys, we couldn't have this moment without a little bit of drama. We're currently on the train, thank God. But we actually booked our train tickets from this train's first stop, which is another Venice train station, which is 35 minutes away from where we are right now. So we would not have made that train. But like I said, this train from the train station close to where we're staying 
is the train we're supposed to be on, but just one stop too early. Anyways, we like talked to one of the people working here. We're like, hey, we're actually booked on from its next stop. Oh, just get on. Oh, it's fine. Just get on. So we're on it because this is our train. Just getting a little too early. Thank the Lord, guys. We have not have made our trip for it. So this is the first class situation. All the bags. And there he is. There's Will. We made it. Crazy. <laughs> It's like coffee ice cream. It's so good. It's like in a slushy machine. That one there. How is it? Isn't it? So good. All right, we are on the way to the Academia, which is a gallery, a museum. We're going to see the David by Michelangelo. Um, He's very excited. He was this big, this big thing you wanted to do. Very excited. Book the tickets to historical cultural masterpiece. Apparently, I haven't seen it, so I, I will let you know. Yes, that's the scoop. You excited, babe? I don't know. You said me, yeah. Oh, biting his nails. He was stressed. It's freaking hot. Waiting in line. Letting me wait in the shade, though. Legend. Jesus, raised from the dead, doing a little peace sign. Good job, bro. Well done, Jesus. That's right. We had a uh, close call coming in here because they said water bottles over half a litre aren't allowed, and I'm a big two litre Yeti. Then it said the big backpacks aren't allowed. So. We survived, yeah. Had I lost my Yeti, the closest thing to you is your someone called it my emotional support water bottle. Mm -hmm. That's why we came here. Look how cute he is. Hang on, I just analysed the pose. Oh, you're going to copy the pose? to whether the David statue is before or after he's killed Goliath. He's got a sling in his left hand, has some stones in his right. Is it before or after? Well, you mean it was made? When, wait, what, what's the debate? Is, oh, uh, whether he's pre-kill or post-kill? Yeah, yeah, in the case? statue. Okay. But does it really matter? Yes, obviously. Why would that detail matter? The detail is hotly contested, Annabelle. Well, does he have any wounds on his body or anything? No. Interesting, isn't it? Um, you know what I just realized? What? One of my nipple pieces has fallen off. Wow. Just one. Where, where'd it go? <laughs> this is not we're in the streets of Florence. Oh, really? Yeah, she's gone. So that's fun for me. <laughs> it's because it's too sweaty. It just slipped off. Now, since you mentioned it, I really want to know if it was pre or post. Pre, pre kill or post kill? I think it's pre now, actually. Wait, go ahead, you tell me your thoughts, babe. Come on, let's, let's go over there and have a look. I think if you look at the face, 
He looks a little concerned. Maybe, well, he's looking at something. What's he looking at? Or maybe he's just like looking over at the dead body of Goliath. Really? What? So you think it was pre kill? He was maybe looking at Goliath walking towards him. Look at the swagger on the man. He looks like he's totally He does. Alright, so we are walking right. the streets of Florence. Oh, we had a great time at the... Academia. Academia. It's the same museum, but... Seeing David, good lad. Yeah, it was really cool. All the other art was phenomenal. It's just amazing what people can do and have done and just appreciating it so and about showing a deep appreciation for art and culture i love art i'm a very artistic person will you are that's true actually um, yes you are and it's just crazy you look at these things and you're like no like someone didn't actually do that like, i feel like you don't really understand it because you've never seen it like i've never seen somebody <laughs> make a statue that perfect so, yes yeah, so i'm like how does that even how do you even do that anyways we are now <sighs> It's very warm here, by the way, guys. I think I said that already. It's we're now walking, not exactly sure where like we'll end up. We're just kind of going on a nice stroll to the cathedral. And we're probably gonna end up getting a drink somewhere, maybe with some Wi-Fi, because I need to do some, some stuff on my phone for work. Um, maybe some gelato. Maybe. And yeah, we'll catch up with you guys later, but we're just enjoying the views and having a nice time. We are Cold. quite tired. That was the only thing. Travel. Yeah, My traveling, the hardship of traveling. No, but you do walk when you're like exercising, aka walking in warm weather. I think we walk so much in Venice. Yeah. No, we're walking not today, and so um, hopefully Rome will be more chill. We're just trying to stay hydrated because ultimately your body just needs water too to keep keep up with all the walking and stuff. So we're gonna sleep well tonight because today was a bit, is a bit of a busy day with all the trains and walking and back and forth. But having a good time either way. So. Do you want a leather jacket? So all of that makes me want to die right now. How hot it is. Um, Annabelle is just doing some work on her phone and I and she needs my phone as well. And so I just was leaning back, had my sunglasses, and I fell asleep. And I woke up, like you know when you're like about to like almost like be like deep asleep and you have those like vivid dreams. And it felt like I was like jumping in the dream, and I woke up like just as I landed, with with a jolt. And I um, did I scare you? Yeah, that was just kind of. There's a lot. You like shook the whole table, so. Don't worry. I um, I'm okay. <laughs> I, th I think I'm gonna treat myself to a gelato now. I don't think anyone is worried. <laughs> oh. This is my Yeti, by the way, that we thought might not be able to. This is my water. We're struggling to find bus tickets at the moment. Okay, a bus isn't happening because we don't have um, enough cash to buy tickets at this moment. Not even cash, coins. Coins. We gave some of our coins to a musician earlier how the cookie crumbles sometimes. 
So we're waiting for an Uber, which I don't think we're that mad about. Sometimes you're just forced into these situations. But it's a bit chaotic because it's like almost 11 p.m. So we cannot wait to get back to our hotel, check in, shower. I've never been so stinky. <laughs> Like we're just sweating all day. Like this, is it sweaty day? this dress is disgusting. We need to be washed. So, and then we can just go to bed. And we are officially in. We're officially in Rome, but yeah, nice. yet to really see it during the day. So. Yo, you guys, we made it. <laughs> One ordeal. Will's already going to the mini bar. We made it to our cute little room. Um. I'll show more of a tour in our next vlog, so we're not gonna do it now, but we're gonna shower and literally go to bed. So thank you for watching this chaotic vlog. Please subscribe if you haven't. Whoa, whoa, whoa hang on, this vlog, we've done three cities. I Venice, know. Florence, and Rome. I know, so subscribe if you haven't to stay tuned to what we're doing. Yes. And so many of you who watch me aren't subscribed, so it helps me when you subscribe and you hit that like button. Um, but I will see you in my next content. I'm literally just like filling the bed. Oh, she's firm. We love. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in our next Rome vlogs. We'll probably be vlogging some of Rome. Maybe not every day because we're here for a while. But definitely some of it. Definitely some of it. Um, so we'll see you then. Bye.